Can you tell me what we're having for the third day in a row? Or what you're having? <sighs> Waffles. <laughs> Zoe this morning decided to drink just right from the jug. Okay guys, so you're joining me in the shop today because we have a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna be seeing my father around one o'clock today. It's in three hours. What they want me to do is kind of come by and take a look at a shed that they're looking to build uh, at my aunt's house there and try to see if I can like figure out some prices for materials and, and if I can even help them when it does come to the time to build it. But until then, we gotta try to bang out some work. So today we're gonna try to finish this cutting board for my client, it's been kind of just sitting here after I put that wood filler on because it was drying. But now I think is a good day to try to finish this. Okay, so step one for today is we got to router this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the router set up and we're going to router all the edges to make them no longer sharp but more round. That way uh, it's more softer to, to hold and feel. Then we're also going to get the old wood burning kit out and we're going to burn our logo right into the bottom corner of the board. So let's get all that stuff set up. Okay, so I don't exactly know how much of a chamfer I want to do. So I'm just going to kind of start and then slowly creep up to then see what size chamfer I would like. Okay, so I think that's more like it. Might go a little bit more. As you can see, we did the edges softer. Now I'll do these edges here. And there we go, all four edges are all now chamfered. So I've never actually used my wood burning yet on uh, maple, so this is gonna be actually kind of interesting. We're gonna see that really pop. So let's just do it on a test piece here to make sure it's hot enough first. So we'll just do a little test here on this piece. Okay, so it's a good thing that we tested because it's definitely not hot enough yet. Okay, so I think it's ready. I hope it's ready because doing two is not fun. So let's hope we can get it done in one shot here. Line it up. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna try it for a second time. Hopefully this time. I gotta be very careful on the lineup here though. I think this one will be okay. There we go. All the burn around should get uh, sanded off, but that looks a lot better. So I have a pretty good sanding process. What I normally start with is 100, and I jump up to 150, and then I'm gonna spray down the board, and that's to basically raise the grain. So that way, when they wash the board, the grain won't get raised and it won't be fuzzy. So I'll give it a first coat, quick wash with a spritz bottle, let it dry out. Then I'll knock down all the grain with a 220, and then I do a hand 300, and then a hand 400. I'm gonna mark the board with my pencil like this. This allows me to know where I've sanded, and then I'll basically do that for every single sandpaper. So let's start with 100. Okay, so the sanding process is done. If you guys could feel this right now, like holy, it's so smooth. Now it's time to do the finishings. I'm gonna go get the materials so I can show you what it is. So firstly, we're just gonna start with the mineral oil. Uh, we use another one that has vitamin E, but we're just trying to get rid of this. It's the same thing pretty much. It just doesn't have vitamin E, it's just pure mineral oil. You're gonna cover the board completely with this stuff, let it dry for 20 minutes and then come back. You're gonna see all the colors start to pop once we put this on. So it's gonna be very satisfying at the same time. Okay, so for this next part, we gotta go inside because we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours and we don't wanna let it sit outside here because it might not cure as well. Okay, so now time for the last stage. We're gonna be using this beeswax and mineral oil mix. Cover the board completely on this and let it sit for a couple hours then come back and wipe the axis off. So I texted my dad asking for the address, but he didn't respond and I'm gonna try to use my prime child memories to see if I could actually remember how to get there. I've only actually driven there myself like once or twice. This is my aunt's house, by the way. Okay, so we are home. I had a really good time there. Looked over that whole plan that they were having for a shed. I made up a material list for them and we kind of made some plans. Uh, other than that, we just chatted and had a good time. I'm actually gonna go back with Zoe later tonight. We're gonna do a fire, so that's pretty exciting. Zoe is here. My stand fell over. My room is a mess and we're late. <laughs> Nice ass. Uh, I almost like crashed my car. 
You almost crashed your car? Why would you do that? I was going around a corner onto Cliff, and this guy was like driving his car, backing out with a giant bolt trailer, and he's just speeding out. And then so I saw him like about to hit me, so I swerved, and then I guess like I swerved a little too much, so I like curbed it. So I went and checked my car, it's fine. There's a bit of like scratching like underneath, but like, We need to put a dash cam on Zoe's car to see if she's lying. <laughs> Some of these stories, I'm like, like holy shit. I probably shit. swerved a little more than I needed to, but I was just kind of like, boat! <laughs> <laughs> Shopping list is marshmallows, chocolate, graham crackers, and I have bread, so just, just that stuff. Okay. All right, see you in there. I want a Reese's cup. Dude, we have so much stuff. Whoa, where's the wood splitter? It smells so good. In the bush. Look at that fire. Hello. Hi there, how are you? Thank you to Aunt Val. Look at this beautiful meal she just made me. Leftovers from today's dinner. Mmm. They don't show up. Wanna say hi? You. <laughs> okay guys, so it's 1 a.m. in the morning. We're just about to touch down at home very soon. Yeah, and it was really good. It was good to see the family. Long time since I've seen them, probably about two years because COVID, of course. We're gonna go home. We're looking at doing a possible getaway for our anniversary coming up here soon. So, and then uh, honestly, we're just gonna hit the hay. So if you guys like, if you guys like the video, comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Ring the bell. Make sure to check out these videos that are gonna be coming up in the outro as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to edit this tomorrow morning, so we have a very busy tomorrow ahead of us. Zoe's shaking her head yes behind the camera, but again, guys, thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Comment. Sure. <laughs>